watch this on the uh, Kevin James Sean Payton documentary. Oh, Pretty good great doc. Dog. I seen the exact shot that I seen walking into the locker room on. I mean, it was a little PTSD. You know, not like actual PTSD to the people. Shout out to everybody that actually goes through real PTSD. Right. But for me, it was the last image before walking into the most miserable room I've ever been in my entire life was Drew Brees and his dumb baby yeah. after winning yeah. that Super Bowl uh -huh. up on a thing with the confetti falling. Mm -hmm. And that's how they let off, basically, the Kevin James, Sean Payton documentary on Netflix. Right. Yeah. So I did have a little PTSD last night. But also, when I walked in, I looked, well, not bad, by the way. Not bad. Not huh? bad. Yeah, yeah no. It was pretty good. That's not what you told me. No, yeah, I did. It was a nice deep dive into no, Sean that's Payton's not what life. You said. What'd you say? What I don't know what these two are talking about. What this did Connor say? He said, you yeah. know, hey, he got about ten minutes in, couldn't finish it. That's not true. Oh, couldn't oh, finish it. That's not true. Wow. Shit. He that's said not true. Steaming pile of shit. Come on. That's it's, not true. It's a happy Madison production, so it's yeah. not a steaming pile of shit. Bingo. Well, no, I agree. That's what Connor well, said. Well, it, I didn't say that. I've a lot of good six jokes. Times There's a lot of good jokes. There's actually like pretty dialed in jokes too like yeah. good callbacks subtle callbacks really? and stuff in there i thought it was pretty high iq writing by the way there was some stuff that was like guy right. a lot of hotel what? humor was yeah. Shaq in it? Let's get out of here. A lot of hotel humor with the yeah. check-in. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. They missed, I've been there. They missed a couple. I yeah. think that they should add in there. There was a lot of good little moments, though, where there was some great dry, dry humor. Bill Cower makes an appearance. What? Uh huh. Coach Cower. I will say, Coach Cower, man that I love and adore. One of the worst actors I've ever seen. Oh, what? No. oh Coach yeah. yeah. Cower. What, 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 what football guy's a good actor? Well, it was a football. Sean Payton. Scenes. Sean Payton. <laughs> He's a great actor. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We don't know about that. It might have been him. I don't know. They said maybe oh, it was him. Cower only himself. knows how to be himself. Well, if this is, I mean, the way he was holding his phone. <laughs> He this was is how Bill Cower was makes, holding his phone. Yeah, Cower was actually him. in Waterboy as well. Well, he, which by the way, Bill Cower fits in perfect stands, in yeah, that uh -huh. Happy Madison thing. But he had a Super Bowl ring on his head, and he was talking like this, and he was on a. I don't want to give too much away, but Bill Cower is not supposed to be an actor. Well, Bill, Bill Cower is Bill Cower. That's uh -huh. He has to do that because the one time he absolutely fucking leveled uh, Coach. What's his name on special teams? He separated his shoulders, so now he always has to hold it. Whatever the case, they should have had him on speaker, I think. Like, it would have been more <laughs> natural like this, but Bill Carr kills it. Just, he's Bill Carr. Uh huh. Whatever. Not bad. Okay. I don't think it was bad. If Bill Carr's in, I'll check it out. But it did remind me, uh, there's a lot of appearances. Right? Really? Just oh, yeah. Just pop ins out of nowhere. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, honestly, not as terrible as you, like, as I would have thought. Yeah, exactly. Going okay. in, oh, this is going to stink. Okay. So I think that is where I was at. This is for kids, I thought. Uh -huh. Definitely is. But also not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Are you surprised watch. by how Sean Payton kind of let them depict him as, like, top five worst dad of all time? Or I mean, there were some situations that it appears Sean Payton wasn't necessarily the greatest dad. But anytime anybody goes into the Hall of Fame, you know what they say. Say, thanks to my wife and my kids. I miss a lot. I am mm -hmm. so sorry. That, that, that was depicted in the movie. Like, yeah. But it was a good coming-of-age tale there. I don't want to give away any spoilers. It's good. It's okay. a good movie. Yeah. It's a great movie. Check good it out. Movie. I'll check it out. Anyways, they reminded me of the moment which I was a rookie and we just lost the Super Bowl to Drew Brees and his dumb baby. Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot about Drew Brees through that movie last night, too. Sean yeah. Payton had a lot of, you know what Drew Brees does, you know what Drew Brees does, you know what Drew Brees does. So I learned a lot about Drew Brees through okay. last night as he was talking to these 9-year-olds, 10-year-olds, whatever they were, the Warriors football team. Oh yeah. 